Namaste my students. Students in this video, I am going to continue exercise 11.2, question number 5. See, you can see over here the figure is given. Okay. And in the question what it is telling us, P, Q, R, S is a parallelogram. Q, M is the height from Q to S, R. Q, M is the height and it is perpendicular to S, R. And QN is the height from Q to PS. QN is the height that is perpendicular to PS. Now, what it is given? SR is given. QM is given. Okay. And it is told to find area of a parallelogram. And also told to find the height of this QN if PS equal to 8 cm. So now how we are going to find. The first question is area of a parallelogram PQRS. We know area of a parallelogram is what? Base into height. So I can see over here SR and QM. QM is what? It is drawn from a vertex. Okay. And it is perpendicular to the opposite side. So QM is a height. Same way QN is also a height. And this line is perpendicular to the opposite side. Right? The, so, the opposite side is the base. So, let me see uh, whether the height and the base value is given or not. I can see that yes, QM equal to 7.6 cm and SR equal to 12 cm. So, it is given. So, this as this is perpendicular to the opposite side, this is the base and this is the height. You can take base and height, either any one of it. The, you can take this also, but over here I can see QN is not given. It is not available. So, I can't take QN as a height and PS as a base. You can take it, but if as the data is not available, as the QN value is not available, so you can you, you will be not able to calculate the area. Over here, I can see both the value is given, so I can easily calculate the area of parallelogram. So, area of a parallelogram is what? Base into height. Base is what? SR and height is QM. Right? SR into QM. Put the value SR is 12 and QM is 7.6. Multiply, you are getting 91.2 cm square. So, what we got? Area of a parallelogram as 91.2 cm square. Now, we got the area. We can apply this area to find the next question that to find the height. If the area is given, base is also given. See, P is equal to 8 cm. And you need to find the height. We have solved this type of sum, right? So, how you are going to do? See, now we are going to apply area of a parallelogram equal to base into height. Now, let us take base as PS and height as QN. We don't know the height QN. Keep it as it is. Area of parallelogram already we have find. Put it 91.2. Base is what? PS. PS value is 8. And QN we don't know. We have to find QN. That is the height. So, what we are going to do? We are going to divide 91.2 divide by 8. Okay. So, divide it. What you are getting? 11.4 cm. So, QN. What is the length of the QN is? That is the 11.4 cm. So, this way you have to solve this sum. Now, let us see question number 6. What it is telling us? See this figure. It is parallelogram A, B, C, D. It is told DL. DL is the height perpendicular to to the opposite side that is AB and BM is the height perpendicular to the opposite side AD. Okay. Area of the parallelogram is given that is 1470 cm square. AB is given and AD is given. So forget about this one. Forget about this one. If I take this DL that is perpendicular to AB. If I take this DL perpendicular to AB. Then what, what is this? This is the height and this is the base. Okay. So if you need to find the area of a parallelogram, this is the height and this is the base. Over here, base value is given. That is AB is 35 centimeter, but height is not given. We need to find the length of DL. That is the height. Right. And area of parallelogram is also given. So what we will do? First, let us find the length of the DL. Area of parallelogram is what? Base into height. Area value is 1470 equal to base is AB, height is DL, AB into DL. 
put the value of the AB. AB value is what? 35. Okay, 35 into DL. We have to find the DL. AB value is already mentioned. See, it is given over here 35. So, we have taken. Now, what you will do? DL equal to 1470 divided by 35. So, now what you are getting? 42 centimeters. So, we got the length of the DL that is 42 centimeters. I hope you have understood. First of all, you have to see the data, what it is given. Area is given. AB is what? 35. Now you can see as the DL is perpendicular to AB, what we know, this is the height and as it is perpendicular to the opposite side, this is the base, right? So base into height is equal to area of parallelogram. Area is given, base is given and you need to find the height. So you have to proceed like this. Now see it is told to find the length of BM. Again we have to find a height. If I take a word, if I start drawing a line from this vertex and it is perpendicular to this side, that means what? This is the base and this is the height, right? So now what we will do? Area of parallelogram is base into height. Base is what? AD and height is what? BM. So now we will apply the formula area of parallelogram equal to base into height. Put the value of the area 1470. Base value is what? 49 centimeter as base is AD. So 49. Height is what? BM. And find out the BM that is 1470 by 49. So now we have applied, we have taken the height this one and base this one. You will tell that why not this one. This also we have applied. See this also we have applied and we have find it out right. You can take any one of the height and base. Okay. So now over here as the area was given, base was given, we have to find the height. So using this formula, we have find both of the height. Now see question number 7. Triangle ABC is a right angled at A. Okay. And AD is, the, AD is perpendicular to BC. That means as it is perpendicular to BC, then which is the height? I can see AD is the height and as it is perpendicular to the opposite side, so this is the base. AB value is given, BC value is given and AC value is given. And it is told find the area of triangle ABC and also find the length of AD. We know what is the area of triangle ABC. We will find the triangle of BAC. Okay, BAC. And how we will find out the triangle, um, how we will find the area of triangle BAC. Why we have taken BAC? You will tell that this is the height and this is the base. But is the height value is given? No, it is not given. Then how can you find the area? You cannot find the area if you take the height as AD and base as BC. So what we are going to take is that as it is right angle over here, in a right angle triangle, what it is happening? In a right angle triangle, this is the height and this is the base. So as it is right angle over here, so this is the height and this is the base. Okay. So I can see that yes, 12 centimeter and this is 5 centimeter. I can easily find out the area. So when this figure is given, the first confusion is that I will take this height and I will take this base. But how can you find AD is not given? So what do you have to do? As it is right angle at A, so I will take this as a height and this as a base. So write it down, area of triangle for that cause I have taken BAC or you can take CAB. Hmm. Half base into height that is half into 5 into 12 that gives what 30 centimeters square. So we got the area of triangle uh, BAC as what 30 centimeters square. Now what about the triangle ABC? Okay. How will you find the triangle AB? Now, uh, now it is told, sorry, it, now it is told to find the length AD. Already area of triangle ABC we have got, okay. And now it is told to find this height that is the AD. See over here, area of triangle ABC is given as what? 30, write it over here. BAC or ABC is same. So don't get confused that here I have written BAC, here ABC, no. That is not a problem. You can write ABC, you can write BAC, okay. They are the same. So, area of triangle ABC equal to half into base into height. Area is what? 30. Base is what? This is now the base. This is now the base BC. And height is what? AD. See BC into AD. Put the value of BC that is 13 into AD. 
Now you can easily find the length AD. Length of the AD that is take the 2 to this side and multiply 13 into 2. Take the 13 to this side and divide. 13 into 2 divide 13 that gives 60 by 13. Okay, you can keep it like this way or you can also bring it in a mixed fraction form. So, the length of the AD is what? 60 by 13 centimeter. Now, see this figure. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Do you know now what is an isosceles triangle? In an isosceles triangle where two sides are same and the third side is not same. Okay, two sides are equal. So, over here as the it is an isosceles triangle, AB and AC is equal to 7.5. That means both the sides are equal. And BC is what? 9 cm. And it is told the height AD is the height. And its uh, measure is 6 cm. This height AD is 6 cm. Now, what it is told to find? Find the area of this triangle ABC. What will be the height from C? to AB that is CE. It is told to find this height from C to E. You have to find the height. Okay. So you have to find this height as well as the area. Over here I can see to find the area what we know area of triangle ABC is half into base into height. Right. So we can take this height as AD and base as BC. See I have written BC into AD. BC is the base, AD is the height. Now put the value what you are getting 27 centimeter square. Now we need to find the length of this CE. Again I can see as this is perpendicular to this side that means what this is the base and this is the height. And already area of triangle we have got. So what we can do now forget about this line. What we will do we will take this height and base to, uh, to apply in the area of triangle formula that is Area of triangle is what? Half into base into height. So, we will take this as a base and this as a height. Forget about this side. Now, we are dealing with this perpendicular with this line and also this one. That is, this is as a base and this is as a height. Okay. Now, we will solve this portion only. So, how we are going to do? Area of triangle is already given. That is 27. Base is what? AB. That is 7.5. And height we don't know. We have to find this as it is already mentioned to find the length of CE. Okay. Now let us put it. What we are getting 27 into half into 7.5 into CE. So CE equal to what? 27 into 2. 2 is taken to this side and multiplied. 7.5 is taken to this side and divide. Okay. And what you are getting after solving this you are getting 7.2 centimeters. So student, this is the end of the video. With this video, exercise 11.2 uh, is completed. You go through this video and complete your work. Thank you. Namaskar.